clothing items, classic styles are talked about to be basically the holy grail of your wardrobe. You have chosen wisely. They are the styles that every woman needs, every woman should own, and they're the backbone of your closet. And I do agree with that, they definitely are. Classics and basics, if you don't have those, you probably have a closet with basically nothing to wear. However, do I think every woman needs every item of classic clothing or every classic style there is? No, definitely not. And for me personally, there are some classics that I just won't buy. They're just not me and they just don't work. And I hope from this video, you think about your own closet and you think about, you know, style should really work for you and work for your life. Just because it's a classic doesn't mean you have to have it. If you hate button downs and you hate white, um, that you don't need to run out and buy a white button down. That's just not your thing. And it's okay if something that's more trendy is your thing and that fits more into your aesthetic. So these are classic pieces, classic clothing styles that I won't buy. A black pencil skirt. That is an item that I think everyone can agree is a classic. It doesn't go out of style. It never looks dated. Sometimes pencil skirts are trending and sometimes they're not, but it's always a classic. Now there's a couple things I don't like about a black pencil skirt and I just refuse. I, I just, it's just not for me. Um, one of them is I don't live a corporate lifestyle. I think a black pencil skirt is like a, a, a definitely a must have if you have a corporate job and you need to dress very professional from day to day. I think that would be wonderful. I don't live that life, not anymore. And so I don't have that, I don't have that kind of use for it. The other issue for me with pencil skirts is that I like them with like a higher heel, like something three inches, maybe even four. I know there was a whole style for a while where it was like a pencil skirt and ballet flats, but on me, it just looks very stumpy and like doesn't look very good. So I would want to wear it with a high heel. I don't really do high heels anymore. I do them for like special occasions and everything, but every day doing stuff, it's just not, it's not where I live right now. Now what I like instead, there's a couple things I like instead. One is I do like a knee length skirt if it has a slit in it. If it has a slit up my leg, I'm into that because then I feel like I can wear a lower heel, but it doesn't look so like stumpy and, and pushed together on me. I prefer a shorter skirt. I like shorter hemlines. I like them to be kind of like around my thigh or somewhere, you know, in a respectable <laughs> length. And I like that because I can wear it with either, either a flat or a low heel and it looks, it still looks very good. I feel like it looks better on me. This next one, I know someone's gonna be like, oh, how dare you say whatever, but listen, I'm not saying I don't like any of these things. I'm just saying they're not for me. And they might not be for you either, or they might, and either way is okay. But okay, this next one is, are you probably not gonna catch me buying the Balmain, Balmain, Balmain uh, blazer? I do feel like it's kind of a classic. I know it is, I know it was very, very on trend for a while, like it was like, a very trendy classic item, if that makes any sense. But I do feel like it always looks classic. Like I feel like if you bought it at its height, I don't feel like you're looking at it right now and being like, ew, it's so dated. Like I don't feel like it looks dated ever. I don't feel like it's, it's as big as it used to be, but it is a very beautiful blazer. Couple issues I have with that one. One, it's $2,400 and it was on sale. Maybe it was one of the Nordstrom anniversary sales for like $1,700. And you're like, oh, cool. Um, but, and listen, if there's something that I know I'm gonna wear for the rest of my life, you know, and it's the quality I want and everything, I got no problem with price tags, whatever. But A, the price, it's just a lot for one blazer. Now, there were definitely some dupes of this blazer. Lily Silk had one that I thought was very beautiful. But with this blazer, I think it's just too specific. And it just got so big for a while that I almost would want something a little bit more unique, a little bit more special to me, if that makes any sense. I do love just a regular relaxed boyfriend blazer. That in my mind is a very, that's the classic blazer that I don't really see myself ever moving away from. Now, let me just say, if somebody was like, Anna, hi, I bought you a bow man blazer. It's for you, it's free to you. Um, I wouldn't turn that away. I'd be like, well, thanks. And you know what? I never, I've never tried it on. So I might get it and be like, wow, this is worth double that. This is the most amazing blazer I've ever worn in my life. So who knows? Maybe if I tried it on, I'd have a different opinion, but just from the information that I have right now, I just don't think it's one that I will be 
ever buying. Now we're going to talk about our sponsor for this video, which is Unique Glow. Unique Glow is one of my favorite resources for basics in high quality natural fibers that are very affordable, like these t-shirts right here. I have them in so many colors at this point. I want to show you some of the new pieces I have gotten recently from Unique Glow. One of them is this cute little cardigan. It has, it's like an open knit cardigan that is so perfect for, <laughs> for summer and fall in Florida because it gives you a layer without adding like bulk or adding more heat to you. It comes in a ton of colors and I, but I really like this ivory and this kind of rust color. So I think, I think I'm gonna actually get those, but great 100% um, cotton cardigan. I love this style. And if you're wondering what I have underneath it, these cute little bralettes also from Unique Glow and they also come in a ton of different colors. I love them for, they have like a built-in bra, so they're very secure. They very much feel like you don't need anything else. Um, they do have a little padding that you can remove if you want to, but I love them underneath things like this. It adds a little bit of color to this white outfit. Um, plus, you know, perfect just to wear as a layer underneath something to give it more dimension. This is an outfit I'm not sure I'll wear outside of just me and my immediate family, but I just wanted to show you the bralette. This is a medium. It has adjustable straps. Love this hot pink color, but it does come in a ton of different colors. I love a good little hoodie for, you know, basically any time of year, but I love this one in the ivory. It does come in other colors. I have one of the bralettes underneath, and um, I think I'm wearing a size medium. I will list all my sizes below, but just a, you know, a great little staple item. Great for basically year round. You've definitely seen me wear this high neck uh, ribbed tank top before. It has a built-in bralette. I just discovered these from Uniqlo this summer and I wear them probably every other day. I have several colors. My green, the green is the newest color and they're just so easy to wear and so comfortable. The top I'm wearing is also from Uniqlo and I love this top. I think it's from their new collection and it's a, like a heavier cotton. So perfect for going into fall um, here in Florida, but I love the stripe. It comes in several different colors and it just fits so great. I will link everything I'm wearing in the video in the description box if you want to check them out. And let's continue. Black heeled pumps, I guess that's redundant. Black pumps are, you know, very classic, okay? They're very classic. Now I will say the rounded toe, like the really rounded toe pumps, those feel quite dated. But you know, like the pointy toe pump has been kind of what took over. Now a black pointy toe pump can look very beautiful. I don't feel like it's like on the forefront of fashion or anything, but again, if you live in corporate America, that might be a great item. And if you have the black pencil skirt, a black pump would look beautiful with that. A couple of issues I have with a black pump. A, I just, I don't, I don't want it to go that high. I don't want to go three inches, four inches with a pump. Two, um, black closed toe, uh, heels, they, I did just really, I don't like the way they look on me. I, I feel like with my aesthetic right now is a very relaxed, like I try to be more effortless, you know, just as the way my lifestyle is right now. And so to have all that and you come down and boom, there's this black shoe. It just looks very harsh to me and the way that I like my outfit to look. Now, instead of that, I, like I said, I like nude. I like nude pumps or, you know, nude heels but I also like black slingbacks. I've really been loving the black slingbacks. They have more of a kitten heel, more like a one or two inch heel. I also feel like they're more current. I feel like they're more on trend and just they feel more current than a traditional black pump. Not that that's a reason why you should buy them, but I just, I've been really loving a slingback. I did find a slingback um, when I was shopping in Nordstrom at the anniversary sale. This was not part of the sale, but it's a, a shoe by Neutralizer, which I have not worn a shoe by Neutralizer in a hot minute, but they have these really great slingback pointy toe um, shoes that are beautiful and they actually are very comfortable. I was shocked. I'm like, I walked all over the store in these. I'm like, there's no way these can be that comfortable. They're very comfortable and they do come in black. I loved them in nude. I got them in nude, but they do come in black. So if that is something you're looking for, I would definitely check out these Neutralizer black slingbacks. This next one could be argued that it's not a classic, but I just, I kind of feel like it is because from forever that I can remember, um, I mean, 20 years even, a large, like, you know, logo tote has been just, it's its never been out of style. It's, 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 it's kind of classic. The Louis Vuitton logo, large totes, 
I mean, those were huge for a long time and then they were just kind of classic. They're just something that I feel like has been a staple in a lot of women's wardrobes and not necessarily Louis Vuitton, but just like the big tote, probably got a logo on it, Michael Kors or some kind of name brand on that tote. Couple issues I got with that one, okay? Um, one is I'm not going to do the large tote, okay? I just, I feel very strongly about this. I don't need to be carrying around a whole bunch of crap because let me just tell you, if I have a large tote, I will fill that thing up, okay? It will not be all neatly organized and just have like a couple tampons and like a little small wallet and then that's it. No, I will be putting water bottles in there, um, snacks in case I get hungry. I got dental floss. I'll have, you know, a toothbrush because you never know. Yeah, I'll, I will put all kinds of things in there. That thing will be so heavy that I'll start looking like this because it will just weigh my shoulder down. So that's one, okay? That's one. Two is the big logos. I just, I like, I don't mind some logos, okay? Like logos are fine and sometimes I just feel like they're very tastefully done and everything, but I just don't want it all over this, the thing. Now what I'll buy instead <laughs> are non-logo smaller totes. Now, the quiet luxury thing is very much taken over and it's such a big trend right now and i really think this is like a very big trend like you will see the next few years so much less logo stuff than we saw before and it'll be more like just subtle subtle luxury and um there's a brand called pauline i think it's a french brand and very high quality leather handbags i went to their store when i was in new york beautiful sleek leather handbags and you really only know that it's Pauline if you know Pauline and they're like, I don't know, a fourth of the price of like a Gucci bag or something that's super designer with all the logos. But I love that. I love that look. I love just like a sleek, minimalist kind of handbag look right now. Unless, you know, maybe I got something fancy to go to, but that's kind of what I'm into right now. Another classic that I just won't buy anymore and it's more like a print, but it's plaid. I feel like plaid is very classic. But every time I get something plaid, I love it. Like, I'll be like, oh, that's so cute. And, you know, I'll like it enough to where I'm blinded by what it actually looks like on me. And I'm like, but I love the print. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And I'll bring it home. And then I just, it just kind of sits in my closet. It's just, they just never look right on me. Now what I do like, and it is still plaid, are the larger plaids. I actually just bought a large, it's like a very large plaid print by, from Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. I will show it to you. And I love this one. I love it on me, I love it off me, I love the top, it's so cute. I like this kind of plaid where it's a little bit more abstract. It's not quite so closed or um, busy, I guess. No plaid, I'm just, it just never really looks that great. A long cardigan, not long as in like maxi length, but just a normal, traditional, um, you know, thigh length or hip length or something cardigan, very classic. I don't think they look that great on a lot of people, myself included. Some people, they look amazing. Some people, it's like, wow, you look amazing in that cardigan and you look really like, sexy in the cardigan. I, that's, it doesn't, that's not me. Do I own a long, long cardigan? Yes, I do, because I bring it to like the movie theater when it's pitch black and I might be cold. <laughs> so I do bring it there. But on me, they just look frumpy, they don't look good, and there's just so many other things that look so much better than a long cardigan. Instead of the long cardigan, I like short cardigans. I like the little short ones. I, want, I like them that come at the waist. They look a little bit more fitted. They just look a little bit more um, defined to me. So I like, I just like those better for, for myself. I think those look really cute and they can be like part of your outfit as opposed to like looking like I got cold and needed something to cover me up. Here's one that I want to like, I really do. And I just, it's just, it's just not happening and I'm just not gonna buy them anymore. But it's ballet flats. And I bought a pair last year. I found them on sale by free people. They're really cute. They kind of started coming back. And at first I was like, huh. And then I kind of got into them. I was like, you know what? I like this. But I don't find myself ever hardly grabbing these ballet flats. And if I do, it's like I'm forcing myself because I'm like, oh, I need to wear these because I have them. But I just don't like the way they look on me as much as I like some other things. And so what I like better, and you guys have seen these so much, but I love my black pointy toe flats. In the uh, fall, I was wearing these all over the place. They're so comfortable. It's by this brand, Vivea. They make really comfortable flats. And I mean like 
Normally flats will rip up my feet and they just fit horribly, but these fit great even though I have a bunion. Um, they're amazing. I will link them below, but these are just amazing. On me, I just, that's kind of where I'm living. I'm not going to buy any more ballet flats because I just don't like them as much as I do these other shoes. So those were some items that are classics, but I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not going to buy. A lot of this has been trial and error for me. I'm sure it will be for you too. And you know what? My style might change. In a couple years, I might be wearing plaids every single day and rocking them and they look amazing on me. Who knows? Right now, that is not the case. <laughs> but ultimately, we should all wear what we love and what makes us feel amazing, like the best version of ourselves. And a lot of times, it does take trying things out to realize that they're just not your style. So if there's anything, is there anything that you know is a classic or people say is a classic or a basic and you're just like, nah, it does not work for me. I'm not buying it. Let me know what that is. I would love to hear from you. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and consider subscribing if you have not already. So I will see you next time.